Thanks, Karen. I just want to say we had a chat with Karen this week who was incredibly nervous, and what a brilliant job you've done pulling this community together. You know, folks, just last week, we had environmentalists, we had poverty activists, we had people concerned about jobs, people concerned about public services, people talking about students and what's happening to them, saying that our future's at risk, and we need to find a way to work together and come together to start challenging corporate power. And one of the themes that we talked about was the fact that organized people can't beat organized money when we come together and we work together. And tonight's a first step towards that. You know, it wasn't long ago, for a brief period of time, when corporations made profits that the workers benefited. Now what they've done through trade agreements is that they've actually consolidated so much power that they're saying that workers and communities are disposable and they can move on. And one of the important points that we should think about in the United States today, 400 people have more money than the bottom 150 million people. And if that statistic isn't gross enough, what they're saying is that inequality in our country is actually growing at a faster rate than in the United States. So when Adam Basie's up here talking about what's happening to poverty and they've got teachers saying what's going to happen to students and what's happening to jobs, we've got to be asking about what's happening to our future. So one of the things tonight which we did was we came in here on a bus with a diversity of people from the community. And we said, Karen, that, we will, that you've done such an excellent job pulling this together. Obviously, you're very determined. This community is very determined. It's not enough just to have a protest tonight. We have to form a, co a community, a coalition, that says that these jobs have to stay here. We don't care in what form they stay here, but they have to stay here. And how we're going to do that is we're going to build relationships. We're going to talk to people in this community. And if we got a chance of preserving this, these jobs in this community, we have to fight together. That means the partisan bullshit's got to stop too. And everyone's got to fight for these jobs. So I want to thank Karen. I want to thank the community. But folks, we can't get tired here. we got to make sure that we come back again. And you got to bring a friend. You gotta bring a neighbor. We gotta talk to somebody. We gotta talk to the business community. We gotta make sure the farmers are here. And one thing we do know is this equipment's here, the farmers are here, the workers are here, and the tomatoes are here, and that means the jobs are here. Thank you so much, Ken.